Hi. Today, I would like to show some applications for technical analysis. First, for analyzing, you require data with regard to the transactions taking place in various securities indices at NSE. For that purpose, we can use this data which are displayed in the form of charts in icharts.in. You can also look at various uh, other websites also where you can see this particular data. Fine. For all of you who are using technical analysis and you want to use charts, you can use this particular website and especially Java charts only. This Java charts end of day charts will help you to watch, observe the price action and the volume action in various securities and the indices. Now this is a chart. You can just make it full screen here. Click on this button. It will now come to full screen. Now we can see this is a particular daily chart. What is a daily chart? A daily chart displays the price changes of a particular security on that particular day. The market is open between 9.15 to 3.30. So whatever the price changes that have taken place, that particular is displayed as per one unit. And these are called candlesticks. These candlesticks are used to understand the price action. I can just uh, make this little more broader by clicking on this plus button, minimize by pressing this minus button that is zoom in zoom out. I can shift the chart to the left side by clicking this button. I can click the chart here to push the chart to the right side. So left side, right side, zoom in, zoom out. I can make it a little more broad or a little more zooming. Now you can see this particular changes that I've displayed here belongs to Nifty, which is an index of NSE. This is a candlestick which shows the changes in the prices and the volumes and also the indicators. If I want to watch a weekly chart, this is the weekly chart. What is the difference between a daily chart and a weekly chart? Daily chart displays the price changes on a particular day on a day wise basis. Weekly chart displays the price action or the price changes on a week basis. If you take this particular candle, it belongs to this week's price action in the security nifty. And this particular candlestick indicates the price action in the previous week. This candle displays for the previous to that week. So this is a weekly chart. And the overall trend, if you see in Nifty, it is having a uptrend because it is making higher tops, higher bottoms. So it is in uptrend. We can also watch the monthly chart. This is a monthly chart. That is the price action in a particular month. This is the monthly chart. Nice. Now, generally, I am recommending to use more of a weekly chart because it's more reliable patterns form and reliable actions also take place. Now, let me make it a little more clear. Now, a lot of people are finding difficult how to use pivot points. If you see here, pivot points is this. Click on this pivot points, you will get a window. In this particular window, select a month as a calculation period. This will help to understand the supports and resistances for this particular month for this particular security nifty. And what I want to display or what I want to get is the pivot point, support one, resistance one, that is a primary support and second, uh, primary resistance, secondary support, secondary resistance, S2, R2, all these things I want to be applied. Now here you can see for this particular month of September, this denotes support two, support one, 
pivot R1, R2. These are very crucial. These are very crucial. So I can just type it out on this also. Whenever you want to type the text, you can right click, select text and then keep, select the point where you want to put the uh, text and then click on it. The data will come here. Now here, resistance one and resistance two. Please remember resistance one and resistance two, all these are belonging to month support and resistances. I'll make it a little more clear. So these are supports and resistance for this particular month of September. We could see Nifty went above resistance one for the month, but it could not sustain came back. Similarly, it tried to go below pivot. It could not sustain it came back. So these are acting as a solid support and solid resistance for Nifty. So these are the things which you need to keep in mind. Now in this particular case, if you see 8717 is very important. Similarly here, 8914 is also very important. Similarly, support two, this is very, very crucial. It's very difficult for the stock to cross below support two in the monthly pivot levels. It's very difficult. Similarly, a stock crossing R2, which is 9023, is also very difficult for the month. And if it crosses, it is very solid or it is a very strong stock, which you need to understand. Right. Now, I'm just removing this pivot points. Now, I want to understand how to use averages. Generally, as you all know, I recommend a 200 periods average as a base. You can select 200 DMA at this particular point. Uh, I think the data if you see 200 DMA is here, the red line. And I can also use 200 EMA. 200 SMA and 200 EMA are very important. You could see after a major bear phase in the stock market, Nifty could not go below 200 EMA. It's a very solid support. From there, it bounced almost 20%. So we need to look at stocks which really take support near 200 EMA or 200 SMA. This is the main criteria for you know taking a positional trade or an investment trade also whenever you look at any securities as such. So moving averages are one which you can apply here. Now coming to indicators, you can select DMI, just use the default settings add the indicator. You could see the DMI applied it in this particular place. You can also look at RSI, Relative Strength Index. Use the default settings. It's in blue color. Add the indicator. Similarly, one more indicator, which generally I keep suggesting, is MACD. Here also, try to apply the uh, default settings. Add the indicator. Now you can see MACD, RSI, DMI, all the three have been applied, right? Now, till now, I showed you something about pivots, shown you about moving averages. I've shown you how to apply the indicators, okay, in a weekly chart. The same thing when you apply, it will remain in the daily chart also. You can see the indicators are there in the daily chart also. We can also save these settings here only for paid uh, subscribers or clients. This uh, feature is active for others. It is not active. Right now, coming back to applying the Fibonacci. Right click. You want to remove anything. Just click on remove all objects. All the things will go away. Now I want to draw new objects. What I want to draw is the Fibonacci retracements. This one I want to draw. For Fibonacci retracement, now if you see this particular trend is in uptrend. So when it is in uptrend, try to identify a deep low point or the starting point of the trend and ending point of the trend. And try to start from here and drag it up to the Right. Now, if you could see at this particular point, 
Nifty has been taking support at 61.8% Fibonacci level. This generally we consider as the support 3. Okay, this we generally consider at support 3. This we take it as support 2. This we take it as support 1. And 76.4% we take it as support 4. Now, when Nifty started correcting from this point, it took exactly support. It is taking exact good support around 61.8, which is a very good uh, strong support which you should consider. Now, once it holds on to these levels, we need to look at the indicators. Right now, indicators are not very appealing. However, when, when I take this as a support, the resistance looks as 8753 on the spot level. This is Nifty spot chart, so it is a spot level. 8753 is what we should expect till it holds above 8700 for Nifty. Now we have looked at a stock which is in uptrend. Let's now try to look at a stock which is in downtrend. For example, uh, let's look at uh, uh, Infi. Now in this case of Infi, if you could see, Infi has fallen from this point to this point. So it is in down move. So when you apply Fibonacci for Infi, which is in down move, you have to select the highest point you should select the lowest point of the swing or the trend, join, pull it from bottom. Okay. I have tried to join to this point from this point. So please remember this. So after this, it went up to this point, which is 61.8 again, like Nifty, it came up to 61.8. Since it is in a downtrend previously in this particular swing, I have started the Fibonacci level from this point to this point. And these zones become the resistance zones. I'll try to make it a little more bigger to understand better. Now for me, again, I will type the text here. This becomes resistance one. And this becomes resistance two, which is 50% Fibonacci. This is resistance because it is in downtrend, it acts as resistance. And this is resistance 4. Could you see now, after making a bottom here in forces, it went up to 61.8 Fibonacci. From there, again it came down and retested this bottom. This is how Fibonacci works. So for us, resistance 1, resistance 2 and resistance 3 forms as a critical zones for a changes in the price activity of this particular uh, stock. This is how we need to use Fibonacci. So these are the simple applications of uh, eye charts where you can use moving averages, pivots and Fibonacci in this particular manner. You can also use indicators like this DMI, RSI, MACD. Okay. So this is what is the main applications of technical analysis, which you can adopt in any sort of charts using all these tools and all these indicators. Please try to practice this and I'm sure you'll be able to get the uh, skill of understanding the trends and also understanding the price action of a particular stock using these technical tools and technical analysis. Wish you happy trading. Thank you.